things in this part of the province are they're actually bad they've and they've kind of like turn out uh, turn out worse From the moment you enter, you can tell by the roads that the situation inside here is is terrible. Of course, I wasn't I wasn't there to make uh, this short film about the roads. It was uh, about pollution. Just used. The roads is a good reference. How the situation got so bad, I don't even have the answers for that. Community is, bl is blaming the the councillors, and uh, it's quite obvious um, the councillors are going to blame the people. Things end up being this way simply because nobody cares to do anything about it. But when you talk to people in the community, complaining, complaining is the easiest thing. Anybody can do it. shouldn't be about um, who is responsible in in order to uh, clean up the pollution that's around as a community if if you realize that uh, certain things are not being done well, why continue to do what is wrong? What I mean by that is the, the municipality is not collecting garbage. So why do you have the courage to carry your own um, garbage and frankly go and just dump it next to someone's someone else's property i mean for me that's another level of disrespect right there
at one point I was filming um, at this uh, waste management site uh, then I realized um, stagnant water is just standing there and there, there, there were bubbles coming out of it so I moved closer to have a look then um, I realized at that moment like this water it may seem like it's standing but it's actually not what it does it 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 seeps into the ground it's almost like life you know water always finds an escape And water ha has begun to uh, dig a, a, tr a ditch or a, a trench, rather. And uh, if you follow that trench, it goes all the way down. And straight into the river. So some of that pollution, they claim to be keeping out of the community it runs back into the river the very same river that um, is the life source of of the town And the consequences of um, our actions um, dumping garbage anywhere even the thought of um, most people tend to I, I, I don't want to say it's a thought but uh, most people have this idea that immediately when you take your own garbage and you put it in your um, garbage can uh, and the garbage man comes to collect it um, that has solved all the problem that garbage has disappeared it's no longer your responsibility but the truth is, it doesn't work that way. That, that plastic, that paper, that whatever you threw in that garbage can, yes, it may no longer be at your, at your property, but it doesn't mean it has magically disappeared. It's, it's going to be lingering around for a couple of years, a lot of years. That plastic that you threw away 
10 years ago. It's still somewhere out there. And uh, it's not at the same place where you left it. It's probably at the bottom of a river somewhere or somewhere in the ocean. On the last part of filming this, uh, I realized there's this small pond. And uh, as I walked around, I realized even one of the one of the cows had had died there, um, and it, it, it could have died from uh, uh, various things. But um, I suspect plastic could be one of the reasons. It's polluted there. And I remember I just sat there for like 30 minutes and thought to myself, what are we doing? What is it that we're doing to this, to this environment? For every little piece of plastic or any form of pollution that is out there, we humans are responsible for that. In no way you can say, this isn't my fault. We are all responsible for this.